Well, this has been a spontaneous gathering when people heard that the far right were coming down, the racist thugs were coming down to intimidate vulnerable people. They specifically targeted the Asylum Seeker Centre here. And so people come here to say, we're not going to allow that. We stand in love and solidarity. We are a united community in Birmingham and it's bigots who are not welcome here, but everybody else is. But those scenes that we've seen up and down the country have been absolutely shocking, appalling. Police being attacked, buildings being attacked, mosques with people inside them being attacked. So this is real violence. These are not protests. People are free to make a political point in this country. I stand up for the free mosque speech, regardless of whether I agree with people or not. But what we've seen in the last week has been absolute violence. It's not mindless, it's been orchestrated. Young kids have been groomed into hating. There's racism underlying this. And that's why it's so important important, especially in a city like Birmingham, which is made up of migrants, whether it's the Jewish community, Irish community, Afro-Caribbean communities, the waves of migration from India, from Pakistan, and of course the indigenous communities here. We absolutely have a fantastic unified uh, atmosphere, environment, place that we've grown up in, and we are seeing people from outside trying to sow division, trying to sow hatred. And so whilst we support the police's call for safety, for security, we, we for that, that's their job, we support them in that. We're also here to say, we're here to stand for love and for compassion and for humanity. And that's a really important message to give out at this time, where people are trying to sow the very opposite. Well, people are genuinely scared and for good reason. We're seeing mosques be being set on fire. We're seeing people being threatened, we're seeing violence. So it's not just words which are um, scary enough. We know what these fascists want. And so on the one hand, there is fear, there is anxiety. People are scared to go to work. People are scared to go about their normal business, go shopping. And yet, on the other hand, there is a quiet determination as well, a pride about what we've built here, that we are part of this city, a very important part of this city. We've seen the solidarity from our neighbours, from our communities, from our work colleagues, and that's what we're here to stand and show. So, say that actually people shouldn't be afraid. There should be no no go areas. The only no go areas should be for bigots, for racists, and for violence. Well, Tommy Robinson, I've met in person. I'm always open for a dialogue, as I said, even with people I don't agree with. I always try to reach out. I think um, having de democratic debate, having cups of tea together, in a dialogue, conversations, that's, that's always the number one thing for me. But having met Tommy Robinson in person, you know, he's not about that. He's not somebody who's been misunderstood. He's not somebody who doesn't know what's what. He's somebody who's an opportunist. He's looking to make trouble. When I met him actually in 2013, he was a bit demoralised because people, the idea at that time was actually um, pushed back on the streets by the huge um, mobilisations against the fascists at that time. And what he said to me was quite telling. He said he was actually going on a pro-Israeli um, uh, agenda because he wanted to attract money from Zionists. This was from his mouth at that time. I mean, we couldn't predict what was, happening, was going to happen in 2024 then. So we could see from then this is what he's about. So he's somebody who's sitting in Cyprus, sitting in the sun right now. You know, he's got uh, big backers now. He's got uh, money backers. So this isn't really about Tommy Robinson for me. This is about those people in the think tanks, those people who are in the House of Parliament, those people like Elon Musk who have the social media, who have got the means to, to really influence and are spreading disinformation, spreading misinformation very deliberately. People who know better, who are actually stoking fear and hatred in a deliberate way. And we saw what the, the outcome has been. So that Tinder has been built over the last few decades, not just by the likes of Tommy Robinson, who come along and are happy to exploit it. So for me, it's not to, about just calling out this person as one individual. But yes, he, we saw him coming a long time ago and that, that people of his ilk should be stopped.